Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number 24 from the May June 2020 uh, International GCAC IGCAC Cambridge Paper 2, Variant 2. Um, and this question here is about this sector. It says the diagram shows a sector of a circle of radius 8 centimeters. The length of the arc PQ is 6.4 centimeters. Find the area of the sector. Now we know that the area of a sector is given by the angle, which is not given to us there, theta, let's call it theta, over 360 times pi r squared. It's that fraction of the whole area of the circle that we're looking for, the fraction that this angle makes with the whole circle, which is theta over 360. That's the fraction that we need. So for us to answer this question, we need to find what theta is, because we know what r is, r is 8 centimeters so we need to find what theta is for us to answer this question now we can find what theta is because we're given the length of the arc we know that the length of the arc of this um, sector is 6.4 centimeters and i know there's a formula for length of arc which is very similar to this in the sense that you've got theta over 360 that's the fraction of well the whole circumference of the circle would be 2 pi r so that's the fraction of the whole circumference that this length of this arc is, is 6.4 centimeters. So using this formula, I can find theta because I know that the length of the arc is 6.4 centimeters. I want to find theta. And the only other thing I don't know is R, which, uh, sorry, the only, thi only other thing uh, which um, I have to find or use is, is R, which is 8. So that there's only one unknown, which is theta. Okay, so we can say that theta, therefore, is 6.4 times 360 over, um, you can say, um, 16 pi. Just multiply both sides by 360, divide both sides, both sides by 16 pi, and that will give us what theta is. So I'm going to leave it in terms of pi for now, just to keep things more accurate. So I'll have 6.4, you put this in a bracket or fraction times 360 divided by 16 I'll leave it like this for now okay um, that gives me 144 over pi that's gonna be 144 divided by pi okay so that's what theta is so I'm gonna leave it in this in this exact form okay that's the angle theta in degrees okay in degrees right so that's 144 over pi 144 over pi degrees now we're going to find the area now so the area is the angle theta over 360 times pi times r squared which is 144 over 360 and we've got the pi there okay times pi times r squared and r as we know is 8 times r squared so one of the one of the benefits of leaving in terms of pi the pi's will now cancel out here so you have 144, okay, divided by 360. Okay, that's 2 fifths times 8 squared, which gives us 25.6, 25.6. So you've got 25.6 centimeters squared is the area of that sector. Um, I could have rounded this to 3SF, then my answer wouldn't be as exact as it is here. So leaving in terms of pi is always a good idea if it's not the final answer. Okay, once we go to the final answer, I used the pi. They actually cancelled out, so it made life a bit easier. So that's the area of this sector. So to find the area of the sector, you need the angle. You don't give the, you're not given the angle, but you're given the length of the arc. So you can use the length of the arc and the radius using this formula to find the angle. And once you know the angle, you can find the area by putting those into this formula. Simple as that. Okay, so it's not such a, a difficult question. You have to just think a little bit about these two formulas. So this is the one for the area of a sector. This is for the length of the arc of a sector, just the curved part there. Okay, that's question number 24 um, from this paper. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist, which will appear in this area over here. Other questions from this topic of um, mensuration areas of basic shapes and will be found in this um, playlist over here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching see you soon